Hi. Um, today we're going to be talking about long division with two-digit divisors. So in class today we reviewed one-digit divisors and gave some strategies for solving that. So today we're going to move forward. I can. Go ahead and get your notebooks out and write down your I can statement. This is what you should be able to accomplish by the time you have mastered this flipped lesson. I can divide four-digit dividends by two-digit divisors. Pause the video while you write that down. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways to set up a division problem and the names of those correct places. So this one is called the number we start with. This is the number we're dividing. This is the dividend. Then the number that we're dividing it by is called the divisor. And then, of course, the answer to a division problem is always called the quotient. So let's see what we would name those things in this sample division problem. The one inside the house, inside the division symbol, is the dividend. The one outside and today in class, one of our classmates gave us a great strategy outside the house. You need a visor, so it's called the divisor, and then the answer goes up top, called the, tell me, quotient. Today we reviewed, or I taught you, somebody called division man, so this goes along with the steps of division. We start with division eyes, D for division, then we have a multiplication nose, multiply, a subtraction mouth, wouldn't call that a smile. S for subtract. The body is bring down. And then R's are remainder or repeat. So if you want to use this acronym DMSBR for dad, mom, sister, brother, rover, or whatever you learned in fourth grade, that's fine. If you want to draw a picture of division man off in the corner of your paper, that is fine to refer back to. Okay, so let's go over a one-digit divisor problem. The sample problem that I have is 186 divided by 4. So jot that in your notebooks. I'm going to write my steps. D, M, multiply, S, subtract, B, bring down, R, remainder, or repeat. That way I can go through and check those off as I'm working the problem. Okay, the first thing I need to do even before I do that, is to look at 1. How many times can 4 go into 1? None. I would have a broken finger if I tried to split 1 into 4 pieces. So then we move on to 18. How many times can 4 go into 18? Or what is 18 divided by 4? The closest we can get is 4. So I write that on the quotient line. My next step is multiply. I like to do the little multiplication symbol here. You can do that too. So I multiply 4 times 4 and I get 16. We're done with the multiplication step. Then S. Subtract 18 minus 16 equals 2. Then I bring down B. I like to draw an arrow that way I know I've included all of the numbers. So I draw my arrow down and just write the 6 right below there. Then, since I brought down, I have to repeat. I can't have a remainder if I brought down. So I start whoop, all the way back up at the beginning with D, divide. So now I've simplified the problem. I've worked it out a little bit, and the 26 is my new number that I'm dividing. 26 divided by 4, the closest that I can get is 6 without going over. 6 goes on my quotient line. And then I'm ready for multiplication. 6 times 4 equals 24. Then S, subtract. 26 minus 24 is 2. I don't have anything left to bring down. There's nothing over here. So I know that this time the R stands for remainder. Just copy that right up top. R2, my quotient is 46, remainder 2. Give it a go. This is a new strategy that I want you to use when we're doing our two-digit divisors today. Trust me, it'll make it so much easier. 
So go ahead and write down the name, give it a go, and you can write down the definition. The strategy is taking a guess and solving the multiplication until we get close to the number that we're solving for. It sounds kind of wordy, but let me show you what I mean. We're not going to work this whole problem out. I'm just going to show you an example of how I use this strategy. Don't know about you, but my multiplication tables only went up to 12s. That's the most I ever learned. I never learned all the way up to my 18s. I don't think we ever teach that high. So give it a go is a great way to get the answer to a division problem without going over. I know I can't divide 5 into 18 pieces, so I know I have to go with 50. 3 right here. I don't know what times 18 is close to 53, so I'm going to give it a go and take a guess. I say maybe 18 times 3. So I'm going to work out that problem and see if I'm right. 18 times 3, I know 8 times 3 is 24. My 4 goes down below, my 2 goes up at the top. And then I do 3 times 1, which equals 3, plus 2 more equals 5. So 54. 54, I'm trying to get to 53. I went over. So I'm going to give it a go again and try this time 18 times 2, trying to figure out what should go here. So let's try it. 18 times 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Put my 6 down, carry my 1 up here. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 more is 3, 36. 36 is less than 53, so I know that 2 is the number that works for me. I'm going to put my 2 up at the top here, and then I'm ready to proceed with my divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, remainder, or repeat. Okay, so I've already written the steps of the division off to the side here, and we are going to move on with this problem. Okay, so we are talking about a two-digit divisor, and I want you to use the give-it-a-go strategy for this. So we have 838 divided by 21. And like you, I did not learn my 21s when I was learning my multiplication table. So we're going to use the give it a go strategy and take a guess. 21 times, uh, I don't know, we'll just say times 3. And try that out. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 63. That might be big enough, but I'm going to try and do 21 times 4 just to be safe. So 21 times 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. I have 84. I'm trying to get to 83. So 4 is too big. I know that 3 is going to be the highest I can go. So my 3 goes in the quotient line. Then I move on to my next step. M is multiplication. 3 times 21. And look, I've already done it. So I don't have to do that problem again. I can just write it right below, 63. Now I move on to my S, subtract, 83 minus 63 is, 3 minus 3 is 0, 8 minus 6 is 2, and then I'm ready for B, bring down, bring down my 8, and now I have 208. This is the new problem that I'm going to be working with and dividing from. R, since we brought down, we have to repeat, it's not a remainder yet. I'm going to give it a go again with 21 and just start taking a guess until I can get as close to 208 as possible. So I thought 21 times 7 would be a good place to start. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 147 seems kind of low. I have to get all the way to 208. So I'm going to go up to 9. 21 times 9. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, so I have 189. I know it can't go any higher than 9 because I can't put a 10 up here. That's not the way long division works. So 9 is the number I'm going with. Then I'm moving on to multiply. Multiplication, I've already done that work right here. 9 times 21 is 189. Then subtract. I can't do 8 minus 9, so I have to go next door. I have 0, there's nothing to borrow from, so I go again to the 2. 2 becomes a 1. My 10 that I just now borrowed becomes a 9, so that I can make that 8 an 18. Now I can complete my subtraction problem. 18 minus 9 is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So I'm left with 19. 
Do I have anything left to bring down? So this becomes a remainder. 39, remainder 19. Here is our first practice check. I want you to use the give it a go strategy with the multiplication to solve this division problem. 625 divided by 26. Work this problem in your math notebook. Go ahead and pause the video while you do this. Practice check number two. This one's a little bit harder, but I know you can do it. 4,023 divided by 17. Use that give it a go strategy again to see what you come up with. Go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to give the answers away after the challenge. Challenge problem. 22,491 divided by 58. Try it. You won't get penalized if you don't get this one right. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Answer time. If you're not ready, go back and pause or rewatch those sections. The answer to problem check number one, I got 23 remainder 7. For number two, I got 236 remainder 11. And for the last one, the challenge, I got 387 remainder 45. If you got both of the problem checks correct, then congratulations. You have mastered two digit divisors. If you missed one or two, then go back and rewatch the video. I want you to write down any questions that you have or anything that you notice that's giving you trouble. Okay, I will see you tomorrow.